World War III's closed beta test is now available to anyone who is willing to spend a little bit of money uh, to get involved in it. Uh, the lowest package, I believe, is $14.99, which is what I went for. Um, we're going to continue playing this a little bit, and we're going to get into um, some of the things it's not doing all that well right now, but also some of the things it is and, and the potential here for it um, to be a real good modern large-scale shooter, and, and one of only two that are going to be available here uh, for a little while. So let's get into it. So while World War III has been available through alpha testing um, to select players for quite a while now, um, it just recently uh, was made available into closed beta testing via um, purchasing one of, I believe, three different packages uh, that ranged in prices, but the lowest one being $14.99. Um, that's what I went for because, you know, I don't know if this is going to be something that I want to stick with or not. I mean, I watched some videos on it prior to this, uh, but up until about two weeks ago, I, I didn't even have the uh, ability to play this game to begin with because of uh, not having um, a PC. So, here we are now, um, and I know one of the biggest draws for this game to a lot of people was an alternative to Battlefield, um, and with Battlefield's launch, uh, it's even maybe looking more appealing to some people but there are a few things that you're going to want to know about this going into it um, if you're planning to pick it up uh, during the closed beta test something that was brought up um, earlier on in this game's life cycle uh, months and months and months and months ago uh, was poor audio mixing and i had heard several things about it and when i first bought this uh, closed beta uh, the first day I played it, I was only able to get into one game because of some matchmaking issues, which we're going to get into later. Um, but in that first day, uh, the sound, while not great, was not terrible. Um, I thought it was uh, significantly better than I had anticipated it would be. However, um, it was really difficult to play uh, because you couldn't get into any, any games. So I took a couple days off. Uh, they made a few, they did a few patches. And when I came back, I was able to, now I'm able to play games on it, but it sounds terrible. It sounds really, really bad. Um, and it's a little strange, too, because uh, the headphones I'm using to play the game are the same that I use to listen back and, and edit videos. And the bizarre thing is that the guns, while never sound authentic at all, very, you know, to any real degree, um, it's, it doesn't sound as bad through playback uh, I, through this this editing software, which is a little bizarre to me. It doesn't sound the same. I mean, it sounds way worse when you're playing than it does when you listen to back listen back to video that you've taken and the audio that comes with it. So I'm not 100% sure what that is, but it is definitely something that they need to fix. It, it sounds really bad, and it's difficult to hear anything around you um, that isn't directly on top of you. Um, guns don't sound good. Um, even when they did, like I said, even when the audio was working better, um, the the quality of the gun sounds just isn't isn't very good. It you know, sometimes it sounds like you're shooting laser beams. Now, if you can look past the audio, um, there is another issue that is going to need to be addressed, and it has to some extent already in, the, in just this first week or week or so of this closed beta being available but matchmaking is not real good right now it doesn't work all that well um, like I said I, I was not alone in this but for the first day I had uh, multiple error timeouts and, and just couldn't play the game at all and I know a lot of other people were having that same issue that is not really a problem so much anymore it doesn't seem like however um, you, there are multiple times when you get loaded into a match and then immediately get kicked into the lobby as if the game had ended which it may or may not have it's hard to tell because it doesn't really tell you anything other than you're back in the lobby and it shows you your score that you didn't get um so that's a little bit you know a little bit disconcerting but this is what a closed beta test is for um you know obviously the alpha tests were being done with a lot with a lot fewer people most likely um so while this is something that i would be more critical of down the road um, it's something that I I'm gonna we're gonna wait and see how they do with this and, and I would imagine that they're gonna find a way to, to come through and fix some of this stuff so with some of the 
less positive things out of the way. Here's what's good about this game right now. Um, it's very smooth, it runs really well. Um, now, my system is pretty beefy, but um, on ultra settings, I'm, st I'm getting 140, 130 to 140 consistent FPS on ultra, which means, and I'm using a, an RTX 3080 with a Ryzen 5900X and an MSI Meg Ace Max uh, motherboard. I, you know, so it's like I said, it's a decent system there. But even if you're running on a, something uh, smaller and less, um, <laughs> less beefy, I. I, I Feel like I'm using that word too much, but if if you are running something a little uh, less enhanced, maybe I don't think you're gonna have an issue with this game. I mean, it's not real super graphically demanding, so um, that is something that's great. Uh, the movement feels very smooth and fluid. Um, some of the animations are a little wonky, like throwing grenades feels a little weird, uh, but gun gun animations, reloads, um, ADSing, it all looks good. It looks smooth and. Um, even beyond the gun sounding bad, the gun play itself feels pretty good and pretty rewarding because the there is a you know, a noticeable amount of recoil comparatively to something like a Call of Duty or a Battlefield. Um, each of those being a little more progressively harder depending on which one you're looking at, but this is definitely uh, you know incorporates a heavier amount of burst gunplay and rewarding accuracy over quantity. So. Uh, there is definitely some good things there. Um, it also is, you know, far more infantry driven than it is vehicle driven. And while there are vehicles in this game, they don't really f feel as if um, they're totally overpowered. Um, rocket launchers, RPGs do good damage to pretty much any tank you've got. And if you've got two people running one anywhere near a tank, that tank is screwed for the most part. Um, you got to do some real tank work to be overly effective with them so it doesn't feel too OP in that way which is which is very good I think so the fact that it's a larger scale game modern setting that is really more infantry based than it is uh, vehicle based does make this a good potential alternative to battlefield where in battlefield right now aside from all the problems it has um, the vehicles feel just incredibly overpowered and, and when you run into one if if you don't have a rocket you know you're just you're screwed you, you better get the hell out of there there's no chance for you um, even if you do have a rocket you're really just kind of shooting you know pebbles at a brick wall so this is different in that way and that's a good thing and I do think there's a there's a pretty big upside potentially to this game but they're gonna really need to get on top of the the matchmaking problems first and foremost um, I haven't run into any bugs you know specifically yet but I haven't played this a ton yet either I'm gonna keep I'm going to keep going into it, um, but the matchmaking and the audio are the two big ones right now, and that audio makes it less enjoyable, I will tell you that for sure. So I know I'm not the only person, though, that is experiencing that, and I have to imagine that the developers are aware of it, and hopefully they'll be uh, finding a way to implement some kind of a new audio mix into a patch sometime here soon, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, if you guys like this content and you would like to see a little bit more on World War III going forward, uh, let me know in the comments below, and uh, we'll keep bringing you some some uh, some good stuff on this game as it grows and as it uh, becomes better, hopefully. So, cheers to you guys. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you later.